Hello friends, welcome again to the world of Maths by MEA. First of all, a very happy new year to everyone. This one is one of the 3D geometry, a conceptual EG, but again I'm saying it's a conceptual question. If you try to think, rethink about the question, you can solve this question quite easily. The level of this question is nothing but 3 out of 5. So from now onwards, I give the level of the question. Uh, please do not afraid of the level of the question. You just need to think, rethink on the concepts. You can solve the question easily. In this, you need to find the total surface area of the cube where the vertices coordinates are given in the 3D plane. So please pause the video, try to solve this question. I hope you have paused the video and question ko solve kiya hoga. Now check the concept. Okay, so first of all, we need to find the distance between the vertices A, B, B, C, C, A. If we work on the 2D coordinate geometry like x1, y1 and we have nothing but x2, y2, we have these two points, the distance between nothing but under root dx square plus dy square. dx and dy are nothing but a difference. If we are working on the 3, we need to work on the same. Like for the 3, we have nothing but dx square plus dy square plus dz square. It's nothing but finding the largest line inside a cube or the body diagonal. This one is a plane diagonal. This one is nothing but a body diagonal. Okay. So find the distance between AB. So the distance between A and B is nothing but dx. The difference is nothing but 1. So under root 1 is square. Here the difference is nothing but 4. 4 is square plus 9 is square. This one is nothing but 1 plus 16 plus 81 is nothing but under root 98. We need to find a distance with the BC. Okay. So under root, uh, this and this difference is nothing but 4 is square plus 4 and minus 5 distance is nothing but 9 is square because 4 of minus of minus 5 and 8 and 9 distance is nothing but 1 is square. Which one is again root 98. We need to find a distance between C and A. 3 and 0 difference is nothing but 3 dx is square. 0 and minus 5 difference is nothing but 5 is square plus 8 is square. So this one is 9 plus 25 plus 64. So this one is nothing but 73 root 98. It means we have AB, BC and CA creates an equilateral triangle. Now with the sides length of root 98, when the vertices of a cube is creating an equilateral triangle. So we have a cube. When it is going to create an equilateral triangle, when we have this vertex, say the A, the second vertex should be here, B, and the third vertex should be here. So the A, B, C are the opposite plane vertices, then it will create nothing but an equilateral triangle. So this length, according to our calculation, is root 98. I hope it is okay. So the root 98 is nothing but the surface diagonal. If I say this one is A, A as a side, so the root 98 is nothing but the surface diagonal which is nothing but root 2a root 98 is nothing but 7 root 2 which one is nothing but root 2a root root cancel so side of this cube is nothing but 7 unit and we need to find the total surface area which one is nothing but 6a square is nothing but 6 into 7 square is nothing but 6 into 49 which one is nothing but 294 and this one is the answer of this question i hope it is an easy question Agar aap samaj lete, if you can understand we need to find nothing but a distance and the distance creates an equilateral triangle then we can solve this question easily by understanding of when the vertices of cube is creating an equilateral triangle so i hope it is okay if you have any doubt feel free to ping me on any social networking site so god bless you happy learning and stay tuned with us bye bye and wish you a very happy new year to all of you bye bye